Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to 30 day beginner yoga and interval training program. Today we're going to start with a quick meditation. All postpartum mamas are welcome, all beginners are welcome, anybody that is looking to build their core, to build their strength, to build their body strong is welcome to join and we'll begin either seated or standing find a comfortable spot and close your eyes take a few deep breaths and we're going to do quick quick meditation bringing our attention to the part of our body that we dislike the most for some people that may be their belly for some people their thighs for some people their bottoms breasts face uh, and so forth whatever it is for you bring your attention to that part of your body and just quickly think of all the thoughts you send that part of your body during the day or during the week and now slowly as we are inhaling with the eyes closed we're going to imagine that this particular part of our body is our child, our innocent, tender child that needs our love, our nurture and our care and we've deprived it of our love for so long. Imagine that part of your body badly needing your nurture, your unconditional love. Imagine that part of your body conscious as everything else in the universe is conscious, vibrating, absorbing the energy you sent it. And now turning your attention to your heart, expanding the heart as if your heart is so full of love. Imagine your heart beaming, pulsing with love, full of love. And that may be light, that may be vibration, however you imagine love coming out of your heart, going into your heart, direct it towards that part of your body that you dislike the most. Allowing yourself to shift your attention from disliking into loving, giving care, accepting. And let's extend gratitude. Let's be thankful to that part of our body for serving us for as long as it's been serving us and for doing all the things that it's been doing for us. Our legs walk us places, our bellies responsible for our digestion, for our standing in the world, for our willpower, for our assimilation of ideas, for us for us understanding ideas and concepts. Sending love, showering that part of our body with love because we will only transform our body when we fully, unconditionally love it the way we would love an innocent child. Are we ready? You can slowly begin to bring your awareness back to the room where you're at. Blink your eyes open and we shall get started. Namaste, beautiful yogis. Welcome to our beginner series program, appropriate for all beginners and for postpartum mamas and for anybody that wants to improve their posture, their alignment, their core strength, upper body strength, lower body tone, and so forth. And let's get to it, starting at the front of our mat. Spread your toes wide open. Roll the shoulders back and down and feel that opening of the chest, that expansion of the chest, that opening of the heart. 
the shoulder blades are dropping back into your back pull your belly in and now we're going to be working on proper core engagement throughout the entire class and you will feel your belly button pulling up as your belly goes as your abdominal the sides of the abdominal muscles transverse abdominals go in so there is a in and up which essentially will flatten your belly and it will improve your digestion Keep pulling it in and up, in and up, with the Anabanda. Lifting the kneecaps up a little bit, engaging the quadriceps here. Slightly extending the tailbone down only if you tend to stick your booty back out a lot. Just find that balance. Chin is parallel to the floor, lifting to the crown of the head. And now sway left to right, left to right left foot right foot and feel where your balance is and I have birds in my chimney so this is coming from the fireplace it's it's amazing in the morning here it's amazing it feels like we're in a forest inhale reach over the head lifting and as you lift fingertips are reaching high up your heels and your feet are gonna sink into the ground so you feel as if your spine is being stretched by a force outside of you that's your personal chiropractor your own guidance great from here keep your uh, back straight and really engage your tummy slowly folding forward once you reach as far as you can reach uh, bend your knees Bend your knees and lower back down all the way. From here, you're going to let your head be heavy and shake. Shake your head. Oh, it feels good. Especially if you have a desk job, if you're a new mom and you carry a lot of tension, stress, weight in your shoulders, neck, arms. This should feel good. From here, wrap your wrists around your elbows and hang in burn heavier. Hang even heavier. Now rock the entire body side to side. Feel the obliques stretching. Soften the breath. Excellent. Hands on the floor. Pull the belly in and up. And look ahead of you. Good. From here we're just going to step in downward dog and skip the plank for now. Walk side to side, pull the belly in and up. Bend one knee at a time, then the other. And continue. Excellent. From here, we're going to step the right foot between the hands. Now, complete beginners, you're going to take a few steps guided by your hand. Drop the back knee down, bring both hands on the inside of your right foot extend the tailbone down look down make sure that your knee is somewhere behind your um, heel and not all over the toes which is harmful to the knee excellent step it back in downward dog and over to the other side help with your hand if you need to walk the right knee further back in order to stretch your hips Excellent. Back to downward dog. Pull the belly in and up. From here, we're going to bring the left hand in the center. Take the right hand to your left ankle and look under the shoulder. Left shoulder. Change sides. Looking under the right shoulder, stretching the upper back, twisting the upper back here so that you can bring balance back into your upper body and shoulders and back to downward dog let's walk the feet between the hands exhale and from a forward bend we are going to pull the belly in engage the belly you can keep your knees bent and come up yes again the pelvic tilt pull the belly in and up and release and again pelvic tilt 
belly in and up release that will educate you how to properly engage the core pelvic tilt pull the belly in and up let the body back sway back pelvic tilt squeeze it's work this is work back squeeze the belly that's the anabanda back squeeze and back one more time squeeze and back inhale the hands over the head and we're just going to reach over to one side look up back to center reach over to the other side look up and when you reach over to one side in your side bends lengthen both sides of your torso back to center over to the opposite side back to center great from here we are going to come to the front of the mat and you will take a step back into high lunge knee over the ankle and when you come up engaging the right booty pull the belly in and up and bring your knee up towards your rib cage and back to high lunge pull this really engages your core three four five six seven eight nine and last one then step it forward opposite side one sorry about the gardeners but we're gonna get this done regardless two three four five six seven you can assist the way i am with your hands kind of bringing the transverse abdominals in together with your power up i think seven eight nine ten if you need to pause anywhere do that and step it forward chair pull the belly in and up and tuck the tailbone down slightly so when you go into your chair you will tuck your tailbone slightly under and that will help you engage the core even more inhale coming out lift arch one more time i'm already feeling it one more time we're gonna go into chair really prepare to engage the core all right coming up so now for the next one you will either need a table, a wall, or a chair, whatever you have around. And we're going to take a plank against the wall or a, on a chair, or as I'm doing it on a little table. And from here, you can look down either in the mirror or look down and make sure there is no coning of the belly. Coning means there is. A prolapse uh, a bump here where your belly button is meaning your core is not engaged properly you want your belly to look flat so when you engage your belly the way I'm explaining it your belly will look semi rounded without that bump in the center if the bump is not there you're doing it right and from here we're gonna go and do a push-up and come up engaged core one two three four five six seven eight nine then before you know it we'll be doing real push-ups so stick with me and coming back to the front of the mat from here we're going to inhale the hands over the head feel free to not use a mat the way i do sometimes on wood floors or on carpeted areas it's totally fun to not have a mat inhale reach over the head 
Exhale, diving forward, pull the belly in and up. Inhale, look ahead of you. And from here, you're just going to bring the left hand on the floor, step the right foot back. So either have your uh, foot extended in front of you or your knee bent underneath you, hips on top of each other. Engaging the core this entire time, you can transition into foot in front of you if you can hold this. From here, pull the belly in, step your foot somewhere between your hands and we are going to drop the back heel down, pull the toes back in and either bring your elbow over your knee or hand stay, remains on the floor, side angle and reach over the head. Excellent. From here, we are going to take the left foot back and right foot either in front of us or right knee on the floor. Side plank on this side and to get into the side angle you can help with your hand again you can hold a beginner side angle a little more flexible side angle however it works for you excellent from here you're going to step your feet a little wider than hip weight apart for a yogic squat which will help open the hips and balance the spine hands in prayer and the elbows are opening the knees out they're helping with opening a little more excellent hands on the floor pull the belly in and up forward bend and coming up to standing that requires engaging the core inhale reach over the head take a big step back with the right foot heel to heel alignment here so that we are able to get into triangle pose inhale coming up pivoting on the heels opposite side you can take as wide of a stance here as you need to. This is entirely up to you. You can take a really wide triangle pose for the more advanced one and a little more narrow stance for the beginners. Here you want to lengthen both sides of your torso. Shoulders down, feet active, toes open and wide, reaching over the head. Great, engage the belly come up feet our edges of the feet parallel to each other wide stance here and we're going to go into a forward bend grab the big toes excellent hands on the hips and come up to standing turn the toes out plie and we're going to do plie squats one two three look down and make sure that your knees are opening as far back as possible and your toes are aligning with your knees four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six belly engaging seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we're going to lift one heel and then the other one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great from here Step to the front of the mat. Hands over the heart. Coming back to your center, to your breath. Keep the mind empty. Stay in the moment, stay present in the body. Great. We are going to take a step 
in a cross lunge back and then kick your foot out this is one two so we're working on the muffin top two three four engage the belly five six try not to kick rather lift seven eight nine and ten opposite side one two really engage you feel your hip engaging three four five six seven eight nine and ten and we're gonna do a variation of a plank on a wall get to a wall again table is a very uh, very possible and you're going to pull the belly in and up so completely engaging the belly sometimes in plow you're not completely engaging and it can be damaging so that's why we're starting so far back away from a proper plank not plow sorry pull the belly in and up and you can bend the knee the elbows extend so that's a form of chaturanga bend extend pull the belly in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten how was that that was a chaturanga beginners you can bring your hands a little lower and when you bend at the elbows keep the elbows by your rib cage pull the belly in and up hold very good that's my first chaturanga in a while from here we are going to squat 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 down and come back to the ground in some way you can help with your hands good from here bring your hands behind you and we're going to extend the right leg pull the belly in and up and walk your heel or drag your heel back in out two three opposite side one two three all right from here roll onto your side come down to the floor lay down same thing pull the belly in and up pelvic tilt and we're going to extend the right heel bring it back one two three four five now for the next five either hover over the ground or do the same if it's your first time after a long time not working out or after birth just continue with the heel on the floor otherwise if you repeat this class a few times you can lift the heel of the floor one really engage two three four five belly in and up opposite side one two three four five and I'll do it on the floor so it's half and half one two three lower back on the floor and five let's do a few pelvic tilts release so I really want you to contract your core here you're going to pull the belly in and up pelvic tilt release again release pull the belly release really squeeze the belly the pelvic tilt helps you can help with your hands to to guide your muscles in the right direction pelvic tilt release let's hold the next pelvic tilt for a count of 10 release and again one more and release 
this is a very eventful first beginner class. I consider this a good omen. There's gardeners when they're not supposed to be here <laughs> on a Thursday. They're supposed to be here on a Friday. Baby <laughs> made me stop the camera a few times, but I'm very determined that we're gonna get this series done. All right, let's check for the Estesis recti, beginners and new moms alike. You can check in ever so often to see your progress. So you're going to have your heels as if for crunches, feet as if for crunches, bring your fingers. Let's start with about two, right under the belly button and you're going to peel off uh, your head and your shoulders off the floor and see how much separation you have between the two um, sides of your transverse abdominals. Um, your transverse abdominis, so the abdominals that are uh, uh, on each side of your belly button basically, <laughs> uh, they have a little bit of space between them. So we want to check how much space uh, right now is. So bring your fingers in there. So after I'm doing all this uh, exercises it actually closes and it's under one finger which is quite the norm normal so if it's two don't despair if it's three don't despair I've had all of these readings just keep engaging properly lifting the belly button in and up with a little bit of a pelvic tilt and squeezing as hard as you can and over time it will get it will get to be a smaller and a smaller gap uh, and that will build your um, help you to build a strong core excellent from here I'm gonna share something really really cool with you which is a must-have for not just beginners for anybody it's an abdominal massage and you're going to work with your right hand three fingers index middle and ring finger and you're going to work in a circular motion starting low right about right by your pubic bone or right above the pubic bone circular motion and moving up into the ascending so basically you will be massaging your ascending um, colon coming all the way up so hover a little longer if you have time in each position above the belly button and the sending colon is on the left so moving down onto the sending colon now if you have any issues with your um, digestion if you have gas if you have uh, uh, indigestion, if you have um, a swelling, bloating and all of this, this massage will work this out and it will improve your uh, uh, digestion, it will improve uh, the tone of the muscles and your overall uh, digestion of course and it is helpful for gas and all those issues so keep at it starting on the right moving in circular motion Keep your belly soft. Going all the way above the belly button. I'm moving slightly faster uh, here. That works as well for the purposes of the class. So we, oh, we can move a little faster through the sequence. I know many people are busy. Good. All right, that was very good. You will thank me later and roll onto your side. Come up. Let's bring the feet in front of us. Stretch. Forward bend. Soles of the feet together, forward bend. From here, we are going to do one of two options, double pigeon if you can, uh, feet flexing, ankle over the knee, knee over the ankle. If you are a little more uh, beginner in the hip, uh, in the hip um, 
flexibility department then you're just going to bring the left ankle right above the right knee and bend forward here either way we're stretching the hips flex the feet because that's protecting your knees you don't need to be stretching your hips so that we have proper alignment for all the standing poses opposite side flex the feet and breathe Excellent. Sit in easy pose. Today, we're done for today. We're going to gradually build up on all these poses, all these lunges and all of this. By the end of this series, we should be doing some jumps and some other a little more advanced things. So stick with the series. Invite your friends to join you. Post comments below how you're doing and what you would like to see uh, in the next classes. I have a great idea of how we'll build up more pushes, more um, step ups with the chair, more lunges and so forth. So it, it will be very, very, very gradual, but progressive forward. I hope to see you tomorrow and uh, I love you. Namaste, stay here for a moment. I will post a bonus leg workout that you can follow this class with uh, in the description below. It will be free on my website. Namaste.